In this video, we are going to show you stretching exercises for thoracic outlet syndrome. Get our very own assessment ebook and mobile app. Links are in the video description. Hi, and welcome back to PhysioTutors. If an individual is diagnosed with arterial or venous toss, surgery is typically the only option due to the severity of the injury. For other forms of TOS, like the more common true neurogenic and symptomatic TOS, exercise should be the first option as conflicting evidence regarding surgical procedures and recovery outcomes are described. Lowe et al. from the year 2011 conducted a systematic review for the effectiveness of physical treatment for TOS. Although there is no firm evidence in the form of controlled studies, most of the reviewed articles show that a conservative treatment is able to decrease pain and toss. The authors also recommend that treatment should be maintained for at least six months to ensure sufficient effects. Following stretching exercises can be helpful in relieving toss symptoms. Scalene stretch. Sit on a chair in an upright position. Hold onto the chair with the side to be stretched to keep the shoulder girdle depressed. With your other hand, reach over your head and gently pull your neck laterally towards the opposite shoulder. While laterally flexed, move the neck backwards and tilt the head posteriorly. Borstadt et al. in 2006 have shown that the classical doorway stretch lengthened the pectoralis minor the most. At the same time, a cadaver study by Muraki et al. in the year 2009 found the greatest muscle length in scapular retraction at 30 degrees of shoulder flexion. As the doorway stretch exerts quite some stress on the shoulder, we prefer the following options. One option is to do a corner pec minor stretch. Stand in a corner, retract and depress your shoulder blades with your arms in 30 degrees of abduction and your elbows in either extended or flexed position. Another great option is to roll up a big towel and position it between your shoulder blades. Now allow your shoulders to drop back and externally rotate in 30 degrees of abduction. You can get an even greater stretch if you ask a partner to push down on your coracoid processes. It has to be mentioned that a study from Rosa et al. in the year 2017 has shown that a six-week protocol of daily pec minor stretching was not able to increase pec minor muscle length. These results are in line with what we've been saying about the effects of static stretching in our other video that you can watch in the top right corner. Nonetheless, patients often improve in terms of pain reduction, which might be attributed to the neurophysiological effects of stretching. Alright, this was our video on stretching for thoracic outlet syndrome. If you are interested in strengthening exercises for TOS, click on the video right next to me. As always, this was Kai for PhysioTutors. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in another video. Bye.